What I show here is a typical master-slave valve setup. On a bucket truck, the control valve in the bucket contains the main valve on the platform. When you move one in the bucket, the corresponding valve in the platform should move in the same amount. Nothing works if the solenoid valve is not energized. To do that, you have to either push the button switch on the platform or squeeze the trigger on the control valve located in the bucket. What most videos or manuals don't show you is there is an orifice that supplies low pressure oil to the master valve on the bucket to keep it full or solid uh, with fuel at all times uh, that it's operating. This ensures the master valve can control or move the slave valves as required by the operator. Older bucket trucks like mine don't have the newer uh, truck bleeder valves, which are similar to the ones used on uh, vehicle brakes to bleed them. Instead, mine uses a thumb screw that, when open, allows the hydraulic fluid to simply drop to the floor and onto the ground. There isn't much uh, area underneath to allow for some kind of container to catch the drained fluid. It is bad engineering from Alltech, Turex, or who's on first, uh, High Ranger. You know what I mean. So what I did was to use some of my uh, grease fittings. You have to experiment to get the right size that can uh, thread into the existing drain holes. Some of the holes, I had to thread them uh, using a tap to get the fitting to thread. Uh, as is, grease gun fittings uh, are no good unless you remove the check ball and spring inside, which is easy, simple to do. Uh, just grind off the face lightly, and I use a nail to punch out the innards. Once installed, I can now attach some plastic tubing to the valve uh, with no leaks. A couple of holes I had to widen slightly, uh, slightly so uh, be careful doing that. This and only uh, go in roughly an eighth of an inch, enough for the grease fitting to grab hold and seat itself properly. By keeping the plastic tubing vertical, I could easily see when the bubbles cease coming. Some of the lower holes uh, were more difficult to insert uh, grit fittings than to do to the hoses that were in the way. And for those, I just used uh, chainsaw tubing that would fit snug into the holes. You can get various sizes of tubing from eBay uh, fairly cheap. To bleed the system, open one of the thumb screws and push the solenoid control switch on. The fluid will start uh, rising in the plastic tubing. When you see the bubbles cease, that's when you can uh, close the thumb screws. Do all six uh, the same way. See my other videos on how the air pressure switch uh, works and how to bypass it uh, when necessary. Also the one on how to easily repair the bucket control valve. Thank you for watching. Visit us at LarryandJane.com and check out my latest book uh, titled Sonaro. It's about uh, traveling to another galaxy and how we can achieve that.